Hey guys, in this video I want to talk about troubleshooting in case the connection between the Kronos Remote app and the Kronos is not working as you would expect it to work. So as you can see in this case we are connected using the USB cable and the connection works fine. You see that the Kronos is reflecting everything that I do on the iPad. But um, it might not always be the case if you connect it for the first time. So there are a few things you can check for yourself. And one thing is starting, the most important thing actually is the USB connection itself. As you can see, I'm using um, a USB adapter. It's called the camera connection kit sometimes. Sometimes it's called just the USB adapter. So this goes from a lightning cable to a USB plug. If you have an older iPad, it's the um, broad connector and it also goes to a USB port. So you got to use this one. And as a USB cable, it's like a printer style cable, which plugs into the USB B port, the square one on the back of your Kronos. Um, it's important you cannot use the lightning cable. This will only charge your iPad, but not uh, set up any MIDI connection. So you need to have the camera connection kit. Also, there are sometimes issues with third, third party suppliers. So um, this is an Apple thing. The iPad might recognize that you don't have the original items and it's going to block it and uh, disable the MIDI functionalities. So if you want to be on the safe side, make sure to get an original Apple um, adapter here. If it's still not working, there are some things you can check on the Chrono side. If you go to the global menu, global mode, then go to MIDI. And in the top right corner, you need to make sure that system exclusive messages are enabled. It's called enable exclusive. It's this checkbox. If this checkbox is not enabled, the um, Kronos Remote app has no way of communication with the Kronos, so you need to have this one enabled. Um, you don't need to care about the MIDI channel or something, it's just this one enabled exclusive, this one needs to be um, enabled. That's the most important thing here. On the Kronos Remote app side, there's also one setting you can try if it's still not working. Um, this is by going to Global, and in the Global menu you have the Connection um, tab. And here there is a button called Identity Check. If it's turned on, like this, you see the orange, uh, you might want to try to turn it off. It's just an additional security measurement. Um, you don't really need it. So um, if it's not disabled anyway, um, then you just turn it off. And uh, this basically should solve most of the problems that occur in the daily life. And if the connection is still not working, you can see it um, if you're connected um, you can see it up here in the app that it says connected. And also um, in the moment where you connect the cable, um, there should be a, a pop-up coming like this one, which is connecting and syncing some data. Um, if you see that, everything is okay. If you don't see that it's not working for some reason, uh, just drop me a mail um, or send me a message on Facebook and I'd be uh, glad to um, try to help you out here. Okay, good luck.